but ah, there we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. My name is Margaret, and in this video, we're going to do a little fact checking. Um, this is something that popped up in my feed on Facebook randomly. I was going to, we're going to have a garage sale tomorrow, right? Let me get down to it. And I had some vintage Star Wars toys, and you know how Facebook is. They read your mind and do crazy things like that. Um, and something popped up in my feed, which is actually about a year old, but let me show you what it is. It is this article that's uh, 20 older toys with insane value. And I got to thinking, because I was just talking about selling some of these vintage Star Wars toys in our garage sale tomorrow, one, that it's strange that this random article pops up in my feed, but two, I started looking at it and wondering, are they really... Do they really have insane value? Um, so I thought, let's take a look at these. I pulled up the article and the different toys, and I thought we would go through and see if they really have insane value or if it's something that you need to really know specifics on. I am live, so if you're watching live, hello, thanks for coming to hang out. If you're watching later, I'd love to have you subscribe, hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it. Okay, so if you're just getting started reselling, you might be looking for things that you can flip for a good profit. And there's always that unicorn item out there that you're really wanting to find. And sometimes they are these vintage toys. Now, the reason I wanted to do this is because, especially for new resellers, um, if you see in an article that it says, you know, Cabbage Patch Kids can sell for insane money, then you might pick up every freaking Cabbage Patch Kid you see out there, not realizing that it's more specific than that. So I was looking again at this article, there it is, and I thought we would go through and just take a peek at the article and then the eBay solds and see what's what, all right? Okay, so this was, I'm going uh, David Letterman style, if you remember him, um, we're going to go backwards, so this is number 20. Um, in this article, it was called The Vinyl Caped Jawa, which is what got me thinking about my Star Wars stuff, which I was talking about selling in the garage sale. And, by the way, stay tuned until the end because we'll take a look at my, hang on, my Star Wars Darth Vader carrying case and see what he's really worth and if I should sell him in the garage sale along with the other Star Wars stuff. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that because I have that pulled up at the end. All right, so this Jawa. Let's say you're out, you're looking at Star Wars stuff, and you want to see, is it just any figures? Is it this very specific Jawa? Yes, it is. So, um, is this very specific version of this toy would get you $5,000, or so it says. So, we're going to check. Uh, Vinyl Cape Jawa is incredibly rare, very valuable, and worth a minimum of $5,000. So, let's take a peek at the eBay solds and see if we see this fella. And did they get $5,000 for him? All right, here we go. So I have a few windows pulled up, so it might take me a second. So here's one, the Vinyl Cape Jawa. These are solds. Uh, here's one that sold for about $2,000. I'm guessing he is pretty pristine in his case. But as you look, you know, you see some more Vinyl Caped Jawas. And unless, like, this guy, I can't tell if that's a Vinyl Cape or not. Because then they changed it to a, a fabric-y one. Um... I don't know. This guy sold for a buck forty-nine. So unless there's some other feature that I'm missing about how special he is, hang on. Let's see. The cape is vinyl. Before they changed the vinyl to cloth. Okay. But yeah, I'm seeing some of these vinyl caped ones that are selling for quite a bit cheaper. Now, granted, this article came out. I mean, a year ago, but I mean, can a year make that big of a difference? I'm not sure. Look, look, here's one that sold for $1,000. I, I guess I need to do a little digging and figure out what's the difference between this guy and this guy. Mm, I don't know. Okay, and then here's another one that sold for 2000 So it looks like maybe there's something to it. We'll have to do a little digging on that, but... Just so you know, if you find a Jawa that has a vinyl cape, it may or may not be, because look, this guy's got a vinyl cape too, 1977, I don't know. Oh, Repro, okay. All right, so you've got to know the difference between the reproduction and the not reproduction. All right, next step, let's do this. 
So number 19 on the list, ah, my, there we go, there we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, oh wait, you can't see this. Oh, there we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1980s action figures. So if you're going out looking for just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures, it's not all of them that can bring in the good money. Oh, I see, I see. Joe says in the chat, uh, some people make a reproduction vinyl cape and put it on their fabric cape, guys, and try to sell it. I see, I see. Okay. All right. So, but again, this is just so if, you know, if you're new, you're not thinking, oh my gosh, I found like the $5,000, whatever. Okay. So let's take a peek at what I found on eBay sold for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1980s action figures. And once again, I have like so many windows and chat uh, things up. Okay, so these are sold. Here's a lot from the 80s that sold for about 48 bucks. Oh, you know what? We forgot to read what exactly the specifics were on this. Hang on. Um, it says mint condition action figures can go for at least 600 a piece. Rare pieces can hit $5,000. All right. So let's take a look at exactly what you should look for while you're out and about. If you're looking... Um, I see a lot here. I see a lot of toys for about 50 bucks. They don't look like mint condition, so that's probably part of it. Here's a bunch that are accessories and all that good stuff for 177. Hi everybody in the chat, how's it going? Um, I mean, they're going for okay money. I know a lot of times I see vinyl plastic figures for pretty cheap at garage sales and stuff, but I wouldn't say it's insane money. Let me do a search. I'm going to change it from ended recently to highest. Er, where are you? Price highest first. Here we go. Let's see. Now, yeah, I mean, maybe the ones that are going for insane value have already sold. But they're not in, in the recent search on eBay going for crazy money that I'm seeing. So... While if you see some of these vintage toys out there for a dime or a quarter, I would say definitely, you know, flipping for 30 bucks or so, averaged out, you know, might be a good profit, but insane, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> next up is, let's take a peek at the next one. Wait, I'm going backwards again. Hang on. Okay, so the next one, oh, this is our favorite, isn't it? Beanie Babies. <laughs> so, can Beanie Babies really bring you insane money? I think we all know the answer to this. There might be some, but generally, I don't know. Let's take a peek at what it says. Okay, so early 90s to 2000s, there was a, there's a 1997 edition Diana Beanie Bear that could go up for twelve, go up to twelve thousand dollars. I remember this happening and people going nuts over the um, Diana Bear. I think it's very specific for one, and for two, I'm not sure that it's that accurate anymore. I think maybe once upon a time it did, when things were when Beanie Babies were crazy for a while. Um, there aren't many Ninja Turtles worth much. Worth much uh, yeah, individually, Toyotic says yes, yes. One million dollars, Diane says. Yeah, and so, uh, because I remember going to a garage sale and somebody having a bear that was, you know, either a replica Diana bear or was the Diana bear. And she wanted so much money for it at this garage sale. And it, it was like this year, like early last year, like, mm, no. <laughs> so let's take a peek at what kind of beanie babies now there might be some that are worth fair money because and i did sell like when i was selling oh this is the wrong one hang on did i skip one i think i may have skipped one no no here we go um when i was selling on amazon there were a couple that would bring like 15 bucks and i was like that's awesome if i buy something for a quarter and sell it for 15 bucks i like that but if it's you know we're talking about insane money let's just take a look now there are, like I said, there are some that could sell for decent money. So these are sold. Like here's this little, the Beanie Boos with the big old eyes that sold for 25 bucks. Um, but mostly like, er, here's a big lot for 31. Yeah, no. <laughs> Let me do a search for ended, the highest price. Let's see. And instead of ended recently, let's take a look at highest price first. 
Yeah, people still think when you're when you're finding them out. Okay, so here's one. Goodness only knows if this really sold. No, best offer accepted. Who knows if that sold for that price, right? The Diana beer. That's the one that that lady was like, this is the one that's worth so much money. Um, okay, here we go. Thai Beanie Baby Millennium Bear. I don't know the story behind this guy. Um, but here's 103 new Beanie Babies sold for $2,500. I'm still really skeptical of seeing this. Like, I don't know. I mean, who knows? Here's 4,500 Beanie Babies. And apparently they've got like a plethora of Diana Bears. Can y'all see that? I'm not high enough. There we go. Look at how many Diana Bears they have. Oh, just think of the hundreds and thousands of dollars they could get for that. 500 bucks is what that's sold for. Um, Thai Russia Bear, this one, I am, I mean, I know I see these prices, but I am super skeptical of, of them really going for this amount. Um, Peanut Royal Blue Elephant, 650 so maybe if you see a blue elephant out there, that might be something to look for. Yeah, I see a number of little elephants selling for money. Okay. So I think you get like, okay, do your research. I used to have this camel. Are you kidding me? It's 500 bucks, whatever. I wonder if I still have him. <laughs> Look, there's another one. I did, I used to have this camel. Okay. From before when they were like just new. I used to have this bear too. Oh, it's something special with the sticker, a certain kind of sticker that was on it. Okay, anyway. So I wouldn't say rule them out, but um, you know, take it with a grain of salt. I wouldn't pay a ton of money if somebody's like sell, selling you a $50 Diana bear saying you can get $5,000 online for this. You know, take it with a grain of salt for sure. Okay, so let me pop this back up. The next thing in this article was not underwear. I feel like I skipped one because I, there was a train. Anyway, well, well, okay, we'll either get back to it or we won't. It was a very specific train. Okay, so the next thing, which I have never seen, ever, maybe the Meghan Markle top will be collectible, that's true. <laughs> um, the next thing in this article, hi everybody. Oh, you found your first Monchichi. Oh, I remember Monchichi as well. Okay, so next is this Talk Boy, which was made famous apparently from Home Alone 2. Talk Boy became really popular. Um, and it says, if you're still holding on to one of these, you can make two, make over 200 bucks. So let's take a peek at eBay. Once again, this article came out about a year ago, August 2017. So prices can fluctuate, but still, is it worth picking up if you see one out? Um, I, I mean, while it's not insane money, I think it's pretty good money. About 50 bucks is what I'm seeing. I see one in the that has the box, 100 bucks. Talk boy, hmm, right? <laughs> Let's just not. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly, Toyotic. Pretty much rule them out. It could take you so long to look up millions of Beanie Babies. And then if it, it's like, no, it's a specific, like, it's got the lowercase T on the tag or something like that. Or it's got the special sticker on its, like, bottom. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Okay, so... Well, I would say if you found one of these at a garage sale for a buck, it might be a good pickup, you know, to flip for, you know, between 20 and 50 bucks, but I wouldn't call it insane money. All right, let me do a, re a quick, um, let's search highest to lowest and see what pops up. Okay, new in box, we're looking at, you know, two, three hundred bucks. That's okay. I mean, <laughs> what do you consider insane money? I guess it depends on how much you bought it for, right? Um, I see. I see, Frankie. That's interesting. I, Frankie's saying, I've heard that some sellers will create a different account or have a relative buy at a high price and then relist it later as a different one and use the sold listing as an example. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there are some little bit of shady stuff like that, whether you consider it shady or just business. I don't know. Okay. So next up are Furby. And I've actually, I found a couple of Furby or that was like a blue one recent, not recently, recently, but I had it. I ended up reselling it um, in our last garage sale because I'm not selling stuff like that anymore. But let's see what it says about the Furby. A uh, mixture between a hamster and an owl. They became popular in the 90s and 
For an original Furby in the unopened box, you could expect 900 bucks. Now, I've known some people that have sold some Furbies for decent money. Let's see if it's insane. <laughs> insane money. All right, Furby, talk to me. So these are, uh oh, hang on, let me get my. These are sold listings. Want to make sure I got the right thing pulled up. Ah, I just scooched over so I can't see your chat. Shady, right? Um, do people still say that? Am I like out of step, Frankie? You'll have to tell me. Okay. Okie dokie. So let's take a look at these Furby. So they said original inbox. So they, they did spe specify that. So if you're out and you see Furby, should you go ahead and pick them up? Well, um, I'm going to turn off bidding because auctions always tend to, to pull up some of the lower prices. Um, so I want to see like on buy it now. What are we looking at? So here is, oh, my kids are yelling at me. Hang on, they'll come. Uh, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Here's one in the box, 1998, 38 bucks. What is this guy? Furby Tiger. Holy moly, that's kind of creepy. Anyway, moving on. For, uh, here's one in the box, 50 bucks. Uh, let's do a search highest to lowest and see. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah. Okay, when they're crossed out, that means that somebody accepted a best offer. So, what is this? It looks like a potato. Okay, but that's not why we're here. So, I'm seeing a couple like 300 bucks, 250, 225. This is one maybe that was like Kid Cuisine, new in box, Furby. All right. So, I mean, I would say, you know, so they seem to be okay to, to look up. Let me look, let me again search from uh, recently ended. Yeah, I mean, depending on what you pick it up for. If it's a couple bucks, it could be okay. Yeah, well, then you, I don't know. <laughs> I'm older than you may, may expect. Okay, so next up, the, uh oh, I shared the wrong thing first. Hang on. Uh, okay, so next up, we are looking at Happy Meal Toys. This is another one. Hang on, somebody came in the front door and I'm making sure it's my husband. Is that you? Question mark. There we go. There we go. Um, Happy Meal Toys. So, should we run out and like collect all the Happy Meal Toys that we see? I know people like to sell them. At garage sales, oh, they're still in the package. Oh, I have the whole set still in the package. Um, oh, yeah, see what happens, definitely. So it says the value varies depending on what Happy Meal toy you have. Um, they've been around since the 1979, and some of the Disney-themed characters, certain ones from, like, 2002, recently sold for 300 bucks. Okay, well, let's take a peek at Happy Meal toys. Am I done? No, I'm not. Okay, there. Um, so here are some that sold recently. We're looking at My Little Pony. Okay. Um, I have some Pinkie Pie glasses. I'm hanging on to them. Why? I don't know. Uh, Back to the Future toys, 10 bucks for the set. So, eh, let me look at Buy It Now, and then we'll do a, a search for highest to lowest. Look, emojis. These are cute. Those sold for 21 bucks. But if you think about it, like if you go there to buy them, that's about what you're going to pay when you buy them. I mean, a little more than a dollar new of like a buck 50 to a buck 60 or something like that if you're buying them. So you're paying about what they paid, I'm guessing, unless somebody got them under the table. I don't know. Okay. Let me do a search because, yeah, I'm not seeing any that are jumping out recently sold. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There we go. That one looked pretty good. Okay, let's do highest priced. So Madden Football, a case of them for 500 bucks. These are, I, that's not a Happy Meal toy. Hang on. Minions, complete set of 17. Now, I don't know. I'll have to do some double checking on those Minions. Because it seems like they'd be a dime a dozen, right? 
Uh, Beanie Boo, Rare, Error, McDonald's Beanie Boo, Freckles. Okay. So basically, like, take it with a grain of salt if you've got these Happy Meal toys, because I'm, I'm not sure which ones. See, I've seen the Madame Alexander ones around. They, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I would just <laughs> take a pass on them. Um, Disney Toy Story 2 Happy Meal Toys Complete Set 1 through 20, 84 bucks. All right, so maybe some of the Disney ones you could double check. I don't know. All right, next, let's see what's next on our list over here. After the Happy Meal Toys, we have got Light Bright. Now, I know they remade Light Bright, so you have, I guess it's like, do you want the original Light Bright? Uh oh, I'm looking in the chat here. Uh, Okay, um, so what did we find out about the light bright? What did it say, first of all? Because I know they've remade this, and I can't imagine that it would be much different than the original. The, uh, particularly popular 60s, 70s, the original light bright can go for well over 100 bucks. Not bad if you pay 20, a game you pay 20 bucks for. They need to really decide on what is insane money, because that's what this article was. They went for insane value. Is a hundred bucks really insane value? Whatever. Fine. Let's take a look at Light Bright. Um, check the auction sold listings and filter buy it now. Best offer. Sold. Yeah, I. I don't normally look at the auction ones because they can be skewed, right? I'll have to come back. And, I may have misread what you wrote, though. Okay, so here we go. Light Bright. Um. This is a light bright retro style, sold for 18. Uh, Star Wars, you would think the Star Wars light bright would be awesome, right? The picture refill. Hmm. I see a lot of light refill pegs. 54 bucks. 10 bucks. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about insane money. Let's sort by highest price. So, okay, unused 1979 Light Bright original box, 105 bucks. That's pretty good. So I guess you would have to know which the which <clears throat> pardon me, what the original box looked like. It looks like it's blue on the front with like rainbowy kind of letters at the top. The other one is black. I always wanted a the Light Bright. I never had one. Thanks a lot, article, for making me regret my childhood. <laughs> um refills I mean I guess if you find a bag full of like just the little color bulbs or whatever they are pegs looks like they're selling so okay I mean I wouldn't say they're they're insane but if you see a light bright out there check it out might be worth a couple bucks if you pay for it at a garage sale alright next let's see we are looking at now this was really specific Fisher Price Pushcart Pete I've never seen this, and apparently if you've got one, it can make $3,000. I did a search for him on eBay, and I think this is one of the ones. I Yeah, he wasn't even on there. So there was this one, and then there was some, like, really specific Lionel train um, that was just not even. I did a search, like, and yeah, it's not even on there. Sure, if I find some obscure toy, it will be very hard to find. Okay. I'm going to hold off on you. There are some Fisher Price toys that can go for, for fair money. There, I think some of my thing. Maybe I closed off the tab that I didn't mean to. Hang on, because there was one. I'll, I'll wait and see if he doesn't show up. I'll pull him up. So Sega Genesis console. My husband got really excited. We were at a garage sale and he saw the box for a Sega Genesis and he went up to the lady and was like, "Oh my gosh, how much is your Sega?" And she's like, "It's an empty box." Everybody's been asking about it. I guess I should put this box away. So, um, if you find a Sega Genesis, it says you can make up to $2,000. Um, probably the box could have gone for money now that I think about it. Like, you should have just asked her, can I have your box? Not like, anyway. Okay. So, let's take a peek at solds for Sega Genesis. Um, yeah, I, again, I see like bundles selling for good money, but would it have to be new in box for it to be that crazy amount. Let's search high to low. Seven 
see, here's one new inbox, factory sealed. Um, never removed from box, a thousand bucks. So yeah, I think if you find one new in box, you might have some money there, but okay. Keep your eyes out for Sega Genesis and look it up if you find one and see what, yeah. Anyone else hold, have old, I wish I still had my record player, my Fisher Price record player. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next up. Oh, here we go. I see. I see these at the thrift store sometimes. Um, this may be one of the ones that got me going, oh, okay, that's it. This one in the Beanie Babies, like, let's talk about Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, so Cabbage Patch Dolls, I was young when the craze was crazy about them. Um, and it said, the Prozies had over 5,000 dolls in their custom-built Maryland mansion and selling their full collection for, like, $360,000. Now, it says they're selling it for that. Did they get that? I don't know. Let's take a peek at the eBay sold and see. Can I just no? Okay, uh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so these are recently sold. Vintage doll, seven fifty-five. I, oh gosh. Even in the box, you know, maybe fifty bucks. There are a few. Here's one that's German. My grandmother actually brought me back one from Japan, which I don't have anymore, which, like, the papers were in Japanese and everything. Um, just, yeah, I mean, but I don't have her anymore. Because who knew, right? Ah, my computer almost fell. Um, so maybe if you find one that was made in another country and the adoption papers are in another language, that might be cool. Oh, the astronaut's cute. So let's do um, highest to lowest and see what we see. Here we go. Whoa. Um, yeah, okay, what? This says soft sculpture vintage doll little people. I guess this maybe was the prior to Cabbage Patch. Maybe this was their, it almost looks like a prototype, which is kind of frightening. Let's just get a really up close and personal view of that. Okay, let's just not anymore. I've <laughs> changed my mind. Um, so yeah, Appalachian made in Spain. So yeah, the one I had that was um, in made in Japan was was similar to her, but her dress was different. But she had the blonde hair, kind of like that. Ah, okay. So maybe if you're looking at soft sculpture Cabbage Patch dolls by Xavier Roberts, they look very strange. But okay, I don't think I can watch look at these much more. They are very strange looking. I can't imagine thinking I need this doll. Oh, okay. So then there's a few. It looks like here. Again, this one's Mexico. Oh, look, Japan. Okay, 500 bucks. Where's my Japanese doll, Mom? What'd you do with all my old toys? Um, yeah, so maybe ones that are from other countries. And this soft sculpture one, Japanese. Great. Thanks a lot. Should have not looked this up. <laughs> so the Japanese one can... Oh, gosh. Okay, I do not need to know that. <laughs> Um, because it's, yeah, I don't have it anymore. Okay. And these soft sculpture ones, I guess I need to look at these. But the newer ones, they're, they're handmade. They don't have plastic heads. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Next up, I'm kicking myself about this Japanese one, but it was out of my hands, right? It was out of my hands. All right. So the next thing are the pound puppies. Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh, oh. Since we are about halfway through, go down there and hit the thumbs up. I have not asked, and I haven't even checked to see how many friends are watching. Let me peek. How many friends? We got 48 friends watching. Go over there and hit the thumbs up button, y'all. Okay, please. <laughs> so, pound puppies. I had pound puppies. I remember when they came out. I remember the commercials. Let's take a peek uh, at what it says first for pound puppies. When they first made their appearance, kids were crazy. And now it says the first edition pound puppy. Can make five thousand dollars. So I'm wondering if this is the first edition pound puppy. Let's take a peek at what other pound puppies have sold recently on eBay, and what they've gone for. So don't freak out if you see pound puppies, because it has to be very specific ones. Let's see. Yeah, some of these are just like you know twenty bucks. It's that's okay. Thirty five bucks. She's still in her box. But you know, for the most part, they're about fifteen. 10, 15 bucks. 
which, you know, depending on how much you got it for, it could be okay. Um, let's see. I actually sold a Trump game at my last garage sale. I bought it at another one for like a dollar way before he became president. <laughs> and then sold it at my garage sale. Yeah, Because I knew I was never going to get around to listing it. Okay, highest price for us. Let's see. So here we go. Pound Puppies Carrier Box. 165 bucks. This looks like the... Well, no, it's not exactly like the first edition one. But this is... Um, early edition it says okay yeah I mean I don't know so I mean you can get a few that are up there around 50 bucks if you find them in the box like this but I don't know so if you see a pound puppy in a box then look it up and check it out there we go sound good so next up number seven. Oh, oh here we go Hot Wheels because you have all the time in the world to look up every Hot Wheel you find. <laughs> so let's see, over four, let's see, that's a, that's a million, that's a, over four billion. Make sure I got this right. That's a million. Yeah, billion. Four billion Hot Wheel cars have been made, but only a handful of them are valuable, such as the 1969 Volkswagen Beach Bomb prototype, which can lead you to $125,000. So let's take a look if you see Hot Wheels out there. <laughs> buy, just buy jewelry instead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so let's take a look at the Hot Wheels that are out there and if you could get money for them. I I have some Hot Wheels in there. I, every now and then I pick up some. I think I got the Guardians of the Galaxy series. I got some of the Star Wars ones just for personal because I like that. Um, whether they're going to be m worth money someday or not, who knows. So, these are two Treasure Hunt 1969 Dodge Charger. Yeah. Eh, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to search highest to lowest. I'm guessing it's going to be lots that I see, like, go for a huge amount. It's rather than individual cars. So, this is a... Candy Striper, Holy Grail, low like a low rider, is that what that is? Hot Wheels, there's a giant lot. Six thousand Hot Wheels. This is one that is blue bunny car. But honestly, I mean, are you gonna have time to look up every Hot Wheel you come across, really? It it you'd kinda have to know. The drag bus, okay. Mm -mm. But uh, yeah. You would kind of have to know like what to keep your eye out for. I'm seeing this logo, like this red flame Hot Wheels that looks kind of older on a few of these higher priced ones. Where's that first one? Ah, where'd it go? Like this. It doesn't look like their new logo that they've got now. So maybe that's a clue. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Dan, that's what I was starting with. I saw that and then I had my... You must have popped in after I talked about my Star Wars stuff. Yeah. So, just found an Elvis Hot Wheel from Graceland New Unboxing. Oh, that's not bad. 30 bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay, next up... I mean, that's what I would say. Like, there might be some that go for, for fair money. I've lost all my tabs, though. Here we go. Um... But you'd have to look up, you know, you have to look it up. And I did, uh, when I was selling on Amazon, I did send some into um, into Amazon. And for me, it was like, if I buy this for a dime or a quarter and I sell it for 15 bucks, you know, that's a good $10. I'm happy with that. So, but insane. Okay, next. Game Boy. Amazing graphics and stellar game system. Who needs a Game Boy these days? Um, but if you should get your hands on an old Game Boy, check what its value is. Mint condition ones can sell for hundreds. Special edition like the Game Boy Lite can go over $1,500. So let's take a peek at Game Boys. <clears throat> My voice is getting funky. Ah, reproduction versus old ones, yeah. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh no, I am on the right thing. I just need to close that out. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I went ahead and looked up the Game Boy Lite. 
Um, and I'm, you know, about a hundred bucks there, 65 there. They're not necessarily mint condition. There's a Pokemon one. That's really cute. Really? I'm going to do this now. It's going to stop. This, it's, I can't find it. Okay. It's haunting me. Try, try to put it out of your mind. Hang on. Okay. Let's do highest price. It really will stop. <clears throat> there it is. All right, so here we go. Pikachu limited edition one, uh, 600, 800 bucks. What is this one? Oh, Astro Boy, okay. Um, so maybe if you see a Game Boy, Game Boy Light with a special character on it, um, there's Astro Boy, Pikachu. <clears throat> My voice is getting weird now. All right, I mean, it might be worth a look, see if you find a handhold, a handheld. I recently found it was like a it's a battleship you know handheld game and I you know sometimes you find them I generally pick up handheld games when I find them um, for you know this one I got for a dollar at a church garage sale it didn't end up being worth a lot but my kids have been having a lot of fun with it so it was worth the dollar I spent on it all right next we are on gosh I've lost my chat again there we go uh, we're on number five. This is the original Monopoly. Now, there are versions of Monopoly. There are people that collect Monopoly. So there are versions of Monopoly that can sell for good money. Um, but the original version, 1933, um, one of them sold for $146,000 in 2011. So let's take a peek at Monopoly. We'll look at Monopoly and then we'll look at, let's see, the original one. And then we'll look at just Monopoly in general. Because I've sold Monopoly games that were, I think I sold a Minions one for a fair, for a fair profit. Um, so here's the cards for this. Uh, maybe it has some of the pieces. 180 80 bucks, $129. So, yeah, not too bad. If you find a, a Monopoly game that's marked from the 30s, you may have a winner on your hand. This one looks nasty, but boy looks complete well you couldn't take the time to like look it up and figure it out okay never mind no judgment um <laughs> let's do just monopoly how about that and see what monopoly games sell for good money all right let's search highest to lowest we have the stranger things monopoly that we play a lot my boys my, my eldest son likes Stranger Things. So there's a stand, looks like oversized 3D Char uh, Charles something. Okay. There's a lot of them that sold. Harley Davidson, Franklin Mint, Franklin Mint. That's like the fancy one, like the wooden one, right? It's pretty good. This one is, oh, Futurama, okay. Hmm. Okay, again, the Franklin Mint. So maybe if you see the Franklin Mint one out there that somebody's trying to foist off. Rodeoopoly. Okay, I haven't seen that one. Am I going too fast? You'll let me know. Hmm, limited edition sign. Signed by who? All right. Okay, so I'm just kind of looking to see. Oh, Lily. Lily Pulitzer Monopoly. I've never seen that. I had no idea that was out there. What a, what, okay, I'm just going to not go into this. Let's not talk about your pictures. Let's, that's not what we're doing here. <laughs> okay, next, next. <laughs> I'm not here to criticize your, your listings, photos and stuff, but. All right, so the next thing are Pez dispensers. This is something else I see a lot of and also ha find that people at garage sales tend to overvalue <clears throat> oh have you oh that's cool Kara um even old handheld game consoles are on. oh cool cool um <laughs> so yeah there this is something else that I have found that at garage sales people can overvalue their Pez dispensers for some reason so it says, in 1982, Pez dispenser known as Astronaut B sold for $32,000 on eBay, which is awesome. Um, I, I have a couple Pez dispensers, but not a lot. Let's just not look at this picture. Okay. Uh, so let's see. What are we looking at here? So this is one that I saw. It was like a vintage Pinocchio one that sold. This is made in Austria. No feet. 
uh, 79 bucks. Oh, yes, thank you. Please hit the thumbs up. Uh, there's some Donald Ducks that sold for 21 I think I had all of these, like, vintage Halloween ones. These are Star Wars ones. Yeah, they just don't. Not for a ton. Five bucks for the presidents. Let's take a peek at the highest price in shipping. Lost in Space. Okay. Oh, Lions Club. Okay, that's a thousand bucks. Deputy Dog. Okay. Pal Dispenser, not a Pez Dispenser. Okay. Mary Poppins. That does not look like Mary Poppins, but we'll just we'll go with it. It's not your fault. What? Yeah, okay. 600 bucks for the presidents. That's probably not accurate. I'm thinking. Oh, this guy's cool. Marbled headdress, Indian chief, no feet, Austria. I think I've, I've done some research about peasant in the past, and I think there's something to do with the no feet. You know, some of them have those little feet now, right? Did he? Okay, interesting. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, I guess keep an eye out if they don't have feet and they look old, that might be something to, here's one, Halloween, witch, no feet. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, some Pez dispensers can be worth money, but generally, I don't, I don't think most are, for the most part. <laughs> um, I'm looking in the... Oh yeah, people getting eBay prices at this. Shot, this ought to be fun. I'm gonna try to go out to some of the garage sales while my guys man the garage sale here at the house in our neighborhood just to kind of see what's out there in the neighborhood. Okay, next up, Luke Skywalker Walker action figure. This is the Kenner one. I actually have the Princess Leia one from this set or from this. Hi, I'm on the same chicken. Um. So. Collectors are willing to spend a certain amount of money to get what they want. Star Wars had a devoted fan base, and it says this Luke Skywalker action figure sold for $25,000. Um, so let's see if we find... I I don't think I found a sold one of him. I saw different Luke Skywalkers, but I saw some that were not sold. Hang on, let me get off of here. There was like this guy, so eighty. They wanted that much money for him, eighty-four bucks. Is that the right one? Is that the hair? Okay, okay. He's got the plastic hair, because Princess Leia has like hair that you can style. Isn't that exciting. Um, let me flip back over on the solds and do the highest price. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing. That same exact one. Okay. I remember these lightsabers, though. Like, you have to push up the little lightsaber through the, the pole part, the handle. That was fun. I remember that. Yeah, I've gone back and forth about, since we're getting closer to the end, I've gone back and forth about the Star Wars stuff that I got at that garage sale, like trying to flip it in our garage sale. But I know I can get more money for it, so I might not do it. I just might not. Um... It's, it's a it's a waiting game, I guess. Okay, so next up are the Pokemon cards. Wait, where's my page? Let me flip it back up. Here we go. Pokemon cards. And I did a whole separate video about Pokemon cards that can go for good money. Um, especially with Pokemon Go restarting, a lot of people were um, starting to re get, get interested in Pokemon again. And so there are some Pokemon cards that can go for fair money. Let's take a peek. I just did a, a search for Pokemon cards. Let's do highest shipping and see what we've got. Some of them are set. See, some of them are graded where you take them to the... I mean, you can send them off or you can take them to certain card shops and get them graded to, if you know what that means. So, oh, thanks, Heather. Um, but as far as individual cards go, you would really have to know your Pokemon. I actually, Randy, my husband works with a guy that is really into magic cards, and he has a whole site that they do reselling just magic cards. And I was gonna have him on, and we just haven't been able to connect to get that get, get that going. This looks cool, but yeah, you would really 
Charlemagne. Oh, I, Char, I'm saying this wrong. How do you say his name? Charmeleon? You're gonna not going to be able to tell me through the computer, but okay. Okay, so yeah, I would say take it with a grain of salt with Pokemon cards too, unless you really know what to look for. It might be kind of hard because there's like 10 bazillion different Pokemon cards out there. Okay, next up are, hey God, here we go, ah, Garbage Pail Kids. Oh my gosh, I remember getting Garbage Pail Kids cards. Some were fun to me and some were so disgusting. Like, oh, I just can't stand this guy's like shaving his face off. Gross. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah. So one card recently sold for 300 bucks and an entire 1985 Garbage Pail Kids Series 1 is going for $4,000 on eBay, it says. So let's see. And they've, and they've started remaking them, too, because we've seen them at the dollar store. My kids have picked them up at the dollar store, actually. Um, so here we go. These are, did I pull up the solds? Not a 2018 Artist Autograph, Mary and Kim, Garbage Pail Kids card. Mm. This is one that is original loaded color sketch. I mean, I guess if it's certain ones that are autographed. Yeah, these are sold. Artist autographed. So I guess if you see ones, like you see here, instead of the name of the character, it's got the artist autograph. Where would you find those? Would, it, would they be in the packs? Were they <laughs> bazillions, right? Um, yeah. So unless they're randomly put into packs and you happen to buy one it looks that's what it looks like ones that are artist signed these are ended recently shall we go highest first let's do it ah okay <clears throat> series one gold chrome one complete set with lost cards okay I mean it looks like if you've got the complete set of a series maybe that would be good but as far as individual cards, complete first set, complete first set, first series. Here's a graded card, electric bill. <laughs> oh gosh. I can't imagine. I mean, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, thanks, Mary. Okay, and then the, was that number one? Okay, that was number one. Okay, so let's take a peek. Since we, we started the video off talking about my Star Wars stuff, um, and I can talk to you about, now, if you haven't seen, I've got a couple videos where I got this vintage Star Wars stuff, I've got a ton of it, and G.I. Joe, that I got at a garage sale, and the guy, it was basically nothing. I mean, I think I paid like 20 bucks for all the stuff I got at this garage sale, including all the Star Wars stuff. The guy was just like, just take it. I think he wanted it gone. They were moving. So I took it, and it. I mean, it's, I've got like the Millennium Falcon, I've got a giant at, -at I've got the Ewok Village, um, I've got some G.I. Joe base, and I was like, okay, do I just like, if I drag it all out to the garage sale that we have tomorrow and just put a hundred bucks on it all, it'll be gone. But then I know I can make good money, so I wanted to see, just for like this guy, just for the carrying case, how much would Darth Vader go for, and I know my... My mom has another one that my, why she can't my brother step but not my like Japanese cabbage patch. I want to know. Okay, Star Wars. Let's take a peek, Darth Vader. So this guy, this Darth Vader carrying case, we are looking at, so this one went for eight bucks, 20 bucks over here, 20 bucks over there. Some of them had characters like 30 figures in it. So... I, uh, I'm guessing I'm going to probably hang on to the stuff. The reason I was thinking of putting them in the garage sale, yeah, 20 to 40 bucks for this guy. So I was, one, because I, I the plastic on some of them is kind of brittle, and so I'm nervous about shipping and breaking that brittle plastic. Um, but I think the Millennium Falcon, the ad -AT and all those are really going to go for good money. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have characters and all that, so... Maybe I'll just go ahead and sell them. Um, but we can have fun researching together, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go down there and give it a thumbs up. 
leave me a comment with a cool toy that you found that sold for good money, whether it's vintage or new. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to have you subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for coming to hang out. Those of you who came out live, I'm sorry I couldn't say hi to everybody, but thanks so much for coming to hang out and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody.